from CBS News Bay Area, this is the Evening Edition. Well, for the second day in a row, we begin with all that smoke blanketing the Bay Area for a second straight afternoon. Good evening, I'm Ryan Yamamoto. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. All you need to do, step outside, see and smell what we're dealing with here. Here's a live look outside across the Bay Area right now. You can see all that thick haze just hanging around. It won't go anywhere. And here's a look at some of the uncomfortable conditions people were facing today. Golfers in San Jose dealing with all that smoke. Bay Area officials have now declared a spare the air alert at least through tomorrow. And this is what's causing all these problems. Wildfires burning near the California-Oregon border. This is time-lapse video of the largest of those fires today. The Smith River complex has now been burning for over a month. First alert, Chief Mineralogist Paul Hagen tracking all that smoke and the growing fire danger here in the Bay Area. Paul? Yeah, we'll talk about that red flag warning in effect for the North Bay Mountains momentarily, but the entire Bay Area is experiencing poor air quality once again today for downtown San Francisco seeing that haze on the horizon beginning to mix with a little bit of fog which results in even reduced visibilities beyond the haze that we've seen throughout the day. Air quality has been bad pretty much across the entire Bay Area. Let's take a look at the latest air quality map from the purple air sensors which again aren't the official EPA sensors but they update more frequently. There are many more of them and you can see all of the orange and red dots on the map indicating that unhealthy for sensitive groups air quality or just flat out unhealthy air quality ratings. I think we might see slow improvement tomorrow and Friday, but in terms of removing the smoke from the atmosphere entirely, that's not likely to happen until we get into the weekend. And we do have the red flag warning in effect tonight and tomorrow for the North Bay Mountains goes into effect at 11 o'clock tonight, continues through this time tomorrow. The North Bay Mountains and Northern Solano County are going to have some offshore winds gusting up to 35 to 40 miles an hour and humidity levels are going to be low enough to elevate that wildfire threat. So we will hope that while we're dealing with a lot of smoke in the atmosphere right now, we don't see any new fires getting started to add to that amount of smoke closer to home. We'll take a look at the long range air quality outlook coming up in just a few minutes. And Paul, Western wildfires are becoming an annual occurrence. And one look outside today shows their widespread impact. Now a new study by Stanford University reveals how smoke from wildfires may be wiping out decades worth of progress in the fight against air pollution. John Ramos has that story. The smoke that's been choking the Bay Area for the last few days isn't coming from anywhere near here. But scientists say you better get used to it and there may be big changes coming because of it. This is what the Bay Area normally looks like from Hiller Highlands in the Berkeley Hills. This is what it looked like on this day. San Francisco has gone completely. Usually it pops out the Bay Bridge and all that. But you can't even see it right now. Dan Scarola has a bird's eye view of the smoke that has settled in from fires burning clear up at the Oregon border and beyond. He knows that the days of smoke coming only from nearby wildfires are gone. No, it comes from Canada. <laughs> from God knows where. It just blows down. Scientists say wildfires induced by climate change are here to stay, and a new study from Stanford University shows how much the entire country is being affected by them. The study finds that many of the gains in the fight against air pollution are being erased by the smoke from western blazes. In California and Nevada from 2000 to 2015, levels of particulates in ambient air dropped by 32%. But since 2016, when the first mega fires began burning, the particulate levels have risen by 14%. Is that a little unnerving? Yeah, it is a little unnerving because this, you, you realize we're all connected, whether you like it or not. That's exactly what the study is getting at. The ability of tiny particles in the upper atmosphere to spread over large areas led researchers to conclude that pollution can no longer be fought on a local level. Quote, these increases in wildfire smoke, which we and others show are expected to continue under a warming climate, subvert the logic of traditional regionally based air quality regulation, end quote. They say pollution will have to be fought from a wider view that takes into account the probability of smoke particles coming from a great distance. It was breathtaking news for those walking along the Emeryville shoreline. You feel like you want to feel some fresh air, even though it's really windy today, it doesn't feel fresh at all. 
The study says to get fresh air, you may have to go indoors. It recommends that instead of focusing solely on preventing pollution, more emphasis be put on avoiding exposure, such as increased use of air filters in buildings. Is that a little scary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's slightly apocalyptic, maybe more than slightly apocalyptic. Apocalyptic or not, scientists say it is the new normal, as the progress we thought we were making on pollution may be going up in smoke. And it's not just happening here. The study says smoke from Western wildfires has either slowed or fully reversed air quality improvements in 35 states since 2016. For the very latest on air quality readings in your area and the updated first alert forecast, just head to kpix.com.